This is episode 48 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over idiocy. And today, we're talking about blame. We're talking about unhappiness. We're talking about sadness, unfulfillment, anger, whatever. If you find yourself in any position in your life, whether it's your marriage, your relationship, your relationship with your kids, your work, your health, whatever. Think about all the different areas of your life. And the one surefire, always going to work way to go from unhappy to happy in any situation in your life is to blame yourself. Now, I know we like the the phrases, hey, don't be so hard on yourself or, hey, uh, you know, there was nothing you could do about it. You know, it's, it's not your fault. All that stuff. People love to say that to other people. But what if we didn't do that? I think that we would be happier and we would be much better people if we just looked ourselves in the mirror and went, you f***ed up. I think it would be much better if we did that. I think we would be happier. And this is this is why. Like I know it's depressing to look at a situation and go, it's your fault. You f***ed up. You need to fix this. What's wrong with you? How did you let this happen? Like th- those are very those are tough questions to ask ourselves. That's why a lot of us don't do it. That's why a lot of us are unhappy. That's why a lot of us have bad relationships. We're in bad relationships. We're in bad relationships. We go from bad job to bad job to bad job. And we're unhappy here and we're unhappy there. And we never really find happiness. I think that happens when you never point the finger at yourself. When you always point it outwards. When it's always somebody else's fault. You know where that leaves you in this world? That leaves you completely at the mercy at whatever the world brings you. You are basically handing over all of your control to your boss, to your husband, to your wife, to your kids, to the people who are driving down the street, to the lady helping you at the store, to the dude helping you at the store, whatever. You're never taking control of your life for yourself. And you're doing that as a defense mechanism because it's hard to look at yourself and nitpick and figure out where you went wrong. But if you don't do that, you will never grow. That's why this podcast is called Blame Yourself, Be Happy. Because it's true. You'll never make the adjustments unless you ask the tough questions to yourself. If you're always looking outwards, if you're always pointing your finger you're never going to grow. You're going to just keep spinning in circles and doing the same thing over and over again all the time. Ask yourself, do you have kind of the same situations happen in your life over and over again? Do you have multiple bad relationships? Do you have multiple bad relationships with family members? Have you had job after job after job where you're not happy with it, where somebody cheated you or somebody did this or somebody did that, you're setting yourself up for failure by blaming other people. You need to flip that mirror around and really take a look at yourself and be critical. You know what? For the first couple of times, be overly critical. Cry. Be sad. Get depressed. That's the best place you can be in because you're having that real conversation with yourself about why am I not happy in the situation I'm in and as soon as you point the finger at anybody else you need to stop and recalibrate and figure out where you went wrong where is your fault 
in whatever situation that is. Because there's going to always, always, always be a piece of that situation that is absolutely your fault. And the only way you're not going to repeat that is by figuring out where you're failing and messing up now or where you failed and messed up in the past and change it so moving forward, you don't have those same mistakes and you're not one of those people that's doing the same thing over and over and over again. Now, uh, keeping it kind of light at first and then we'll get we'll hit it pretty hard in a second here. But let's just think of it like let's just think of it in a work context. If you're on a team or you're in a on a project or your company or whatever, if you had something come up like this quarter or this month where you had a project you were working on and it failed, don't look at who did something wrong. Look at what you did wrong, what you could have done better. Maybe you didn't ask enough questions. Maybe you had a better vision for part of the direction of it and you didn't speak up enough. Maybe you didn't stay late enough. Maybe you didn't. There's always something that you could have done better. Figure out what that is. Talk to your team about it and get better as a team. Because you can make your team better. Whatever team it is that you're on, you can make it better. Be a leader, not a follower. Speak up. Ask better questions. Work harder. Motivate the people around you more. Just figure out where you could have done better and next time do it better. When you take the blame, you're taking control. You're taking control of your work life. You're taking control of your home life. You're taking control of everything. Because the only person you can change is you. You can go try to change somebody else, but good luck with that. You need to change you and then build out from there as opposed to going out and trying to build in, okay? Think about the situations in your life. Now, this is we're going to get a little, a little heavy right here, okay? So really ask yourself some tough questions. Now, where are you unhappy? Maybe you're unhealthy. Maybe you're fat. Maybe you don't like the marriage that you're in. Maybe you don't like the relationship you have with your kids. Maybe you don't like the relationship you have with your siblings. Maybe it's your parents. Maybe it's your grandparents. Maybe you have a gambling problem. Maybe you have a cheating problem. Maybe you have a drug problem or an alcohol problem or whatever. People like to blame other people. People like to, oh, I cheated because I didn't get enough attention. Wah, wah. I took drugs because I was sad in high school. Come on. I drink because my job's this or my job's that or I'm unhappy or this or that or whatever. As soon, please, as soon as you go, I do this because, and it's anything but I messed up. You need to freaking shut your mouth and walk away. It's your fault. You took the drugs. You called that person back. You probably shouldn't have called back. You let that argument get too far. You rolled those dice. You placed that bet on that game. It all comes down to you. You are in control. And the sooner you admit that, the better your life will be. Because once you take the blame, you take control, you make the changes, and you are the one that gets to see the results. I don't want to hear, he was mean to me, they ignored me, my boss is a dick, my boss is an asshole. All of that stuff may be true. They may be mean, have been mean to you. Your boss may be a dick. You, whatever. Everybody has something that they've had to go through. So you can't base what you do on other people. Because people... For the most part, I would say 80% of the people, maybe even higher, will blame someone else for whatever situation they're in instead of blame themselves. And that's why there are so many unhappy people out there. It's not because life sucks. It's not because this just the way it is. It's because they didn't take the blame. They didn't make the changes. They didn't have the tough discussions with themselves. They didn't fix what they can fix. Take the blame. Look where you could do better. And then do better in everything. Because 
It's your fault. Wherever you're at, whatever you're unhappy with, it's your fault. And that's okay. Because it never has to be the way it is right now or the way it was. It never has to be that way ever again. But you have to take the blame first. You have to take control. And then you can move on and grow and get better and be happier. Remember, blame yourself. Be happy. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. If you want to discuss this further, please hit me up. I would love to discuss it more. Again, looking for some people to do do a podcast. I know you guys have been through stuff. It may seem big. It may seem small. It may seem too small to help somebody. But I promise you every situation that you are in, that you're either going through or you went through, it can help somebody. But you have to let it out in order for it to help somebody. So please hit me up. Let's discuss it. Let's get you on here. Like I said, all you need is Skype. And I'll take care of the rest. And we can have a beautiful podcast turns it into a blog and a vlog and all that stuff. I get it out everywhere. So whoever needs it anywhere in the world can either read it, listen to it, or watch it, and it can help them. So what are you holding on to? What experience have you had that could help somebody else? If you're unsure, just ask me. But I would bet 99.9% of the time, it is definitely something that can help people. So think about that. Reach out. Make a difference. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Who? What? Just ask Joey.